my name is Kyle Hamilton. I'm from uh, UC Merced. Uh, the topic today is on a package called Mavis. It's a tool for you to interact with meta analyses for Shiny. Yes, it's another Shiny app. So uh, it's also available on CRAM now. And my co author, Barack, over in uh, Turkey, also helped me out with this working on a Turkish version. So, what is meta analysis? Not everyone might actually know what meta analysis is. Meta analysis is just a way of combining effect sizes. It allows you to actually do what, like, uh, analysis and analysis, they, uh, and creating a summary of research findings. Uh, so, some, uh, so some common uses, uh, the most important one is for uses in the medical field. Uh, oftentimes you'll take a bunch of studies from a uh, treatment or a uh, drug trial, and you'll combine them all into one group. That, that way it's more efficient than running one large structural trial. Uh, the social sciences and education researchers also use this a lot as well. Uh, we use it to look at effects over a lot of large set of populations to see if there's actually one true effect. Some of the features of Mavis, uh, it's mostly uh, designed to work as a pedagogical tool, so teaching people how to run a meta-analysis. Uh, it's all done in the web browser. There's multiple ways to detect publication bias, including aggregate regression and uh, the Bay Hedges weight function model. Uh, one of the goals is to help lower the uh, learning curve for people who are first learning how to do a meta-analysis. Uh, a lot of times people who get start learning how to do these kind of methods are first or second year graduate students and they don't haven't actually been exposed to R yet. Uh, so removing any of these kind of barriers is I think a good thing. Uh, it's all open source, anyone can use it. Uh, I've, put the, I've already put this online, I'll show it at the very end for anyone to use. Currently a lot of our users are either in the Arab world or in Spain, so that's Latin America, close enough. <laughs> and, and so uh, we're working on some translations for that. Uh, Barack's translated Mavis into uh, Turkish already for people there. Uh, so the front end, clear it's obviously Shiny, and a Shiny Ace is used to let people enter data. A lot of Shiny apps have to upload a CSV file, but I found it's kind of troublesome. It's kind of a barrier for entry for people who aren't used to using uh, more advanced methods. So we use Shiny Ace to do data entry. And Shiny BS is just used to enhance for warnings. Uh, the back end, where it gets kind of, gets kind of complicated, uh, Wolfgang Fischbauer, who I think has the greatest name ever, <laughs> uh, wrote the metaphor package. It's been cited about 1,400 times. It's a great package, and it does basically everything. Uh, there's also some single case design work added to this, because someone asked once. Uh, since I can't really do the Shiny uh, app, I just took some screenshots. Here's what it looks like with the Shiny Ace interface up here at the top. Uh, we have some menus that we'll go through in a second. And we get to see what actually your sampling variance and effect sizes. This is actually a real meta-analysis from Clinical Psychology Review. So if you actually want to go and look at it, you can see it as results. Here are the forest plots and the funnel plots for uh, publication bias. As you can see, even if you don't know what a meta-analysis is, uh, there's all the uh, point estimates with confidence intervals. And then we have a standardized mean difference at the very bottom. Uh, you also can download all these plots, which I thought was a little frustrating to program in, but it finally worked. Uh, since it's a pedagogical tool, there are input examples. So we have another example from other meta-analyses we pulled the data out of. So people can just copy and paste, or they can work it out of an Excel file or any other spreadsheet program to help actually collect all these effect sizes. And, uh, here's an example of our publication bias uh, section. We can uh, we're basically taking almost everything out of the metaphor package and just connected it up with Shiny. Uh, we have some include file drawer analyses and some of the other trim and fill options. The joy of often silence is right there. <laughs> and uh, here are all the effect size calculators. Uh, I've used about four different packages just to sort of combine it all into one group. This is the fanciest looking one. This is for single case design work, so people can actually effect sizes based off of these, but also we have things like t-tests, regressions, etc. Uh, here's all the documentation. Uh, it's all available on GitHub. Uh, there's also the Turkish versions on GitHub, and it's an online demo at my website, kylehamilton.com. Uh, kylehamilton.net is just my digital ocean droplet, so you can check that out. And I think that's my last. Oh, I have one more slide. Uh, I want to thank my co-authors, Barack and uh, Mizumoto. Uh, Mizumoto wrote the original version of Mavis like, as a uh, package for his book. And uh, we, uh, Barack and I took it really expanded and built on it. So I'm really grateful for him. Uh, I want to thank my advisor, Linda Cameron, and my lab, the Health Communications Lab at UC Merced. Thank you.
seat up here.